Business Cal, Topic 2, problem, Homework Problem Number 36. Okay, we want to find the equation of a tangent line to the graph of the given function at the point of uh, the indicated x coordinate. Well, just give you a quick sketch just to let, let you see what this function looks like. It has an asymptote of um, y equals 0, and has another asymptote, I think, at. Uh, let's see if I can do this. I think it x plus one, about like that. And the graph itself looks like this, and then it looks like that. All right, that's the graph. Now, at x equals three, which is right here, we have a point there. We want to find a tangent line right at x equals 3. The equation of a tangent line. I'm sorry. Um, so the tangent line looks like that. Now, to get this equation, we're going to need a slope. And we're also going to need a point. Once we get a point and a slope, we can find the equation of that line. So in order to get the um, slope, we need to take a derivative of the function. So let's begin finding the derivative of that function. So we have f of x equals x plus 3 over x. Well, turning this into powers, we will get x plus 3 x to the negative 1. And now I can use power rule for the derivative. Oops, very bad x is here. All right, so the derivative of x is 1. Um, then 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So let's make that a negative 3. And then negative 1 minus 1 will give us negative 2. And so this is our function, as ugly as it is. <laughs> All right, let's rewrite it a little better. This will be 1 minus 3 over x squared. All right, so this is our derivative. And now when I place x is 3 into this function, we'll get the slope. So 1 minus 3 over 3 squared, that'll be um, 2 thirds Okay, for the slope. All right. So now we have a slope of two thirds. Now we need a point. To get the point, we're going to take the original function, x plus 3 over x, and we're going to put 3 in the function itself. So that'll be 3 plus 3 over 3, which is 4. So that tells us that our point will be 3 comma 4. Now that I have a slope and a point, I pull out the point slope formula. Right there, point slope formula and put the point and slope in there. So opposite of y is negative 4. The slope was um, 2 thirds. And the x is going to be negative 3. Okay, negative 3. <laughs> All right, let's distribute the um, 2 thirds. We'll get 2 thirds x um, minus 2. And add 4 to both sides. And we'll get y equals 2 thirds x uh, plus 2. And that is the linear equation there. Y equals 2 thirds x plus 2.